Let me show you an example. I get, I get asked to talk a lot about difficult people in the workplace. Um, everybody says, you know, we are the ones with the difficult people. <laughs> and we have them too in my business. They're called hecklers. <laughs> and, and, and quick tip there that we learned, this is just a little side note. Um, we learned this right away in the, in the comedy world or whatever, performers. We call it the 10-10-80 rule. And I think you can apply it to your business. 10% of the people in every audience are going to hate me. Because they hate everybody. 10% are going to love you because they love everybody. 80% are going to reserve judgment. That's who you focus on. Took me a while to learn that because how often I will put all my energies into that negative 10%. Redirect them. Because then they don't have anywhere to feed. I also learned you can't get away from hecklers. They're going to follow you wherever you go. There is no such thing as a heckle-free audience. So then what do you do? And I always talk about, again, whole other conversation for another day, but I talk about it all really comes back to us. Because I don't believe difficult people are the problem. I believe it's our reaction to them. That many times a difficult person does one little thing and then we spend hours and days and weeks obsessing over it. And that's where the problem lies. And so how do we let it roll off of us right away? And silence that inner critic. It's one of my goals for this year is to kill my inner critic that's got to have an opinion about everything. But again, these are words that fall on deaf and busy ears. I want to find a way to show them so they'll remember it for years. And so I will tell people the story of crazy man Harry. You see, crazy man Harry lives on the corner of Route 29 and Old Wiley School Road. You don't have to live there to know him. Just drive by and you'll see his rusty old lawn chair. The one with the strap dragging the ground. And he'll be sitting there in his boxers and a stained t-shirt with the wild, frizzy gray hair and the beady black eyes, waving around that brown paper bag, <clears throat> yelling at people as they drive past. Obscenities, mostly. And when you would get close enough to see the yellow in his eyes or the spittle at the corners of his mouth, he would look you in the eyes and he would scream. He would scream at you with venom. And if you'll excuse my language, he would scream, get out, get the hell out. Complain, if you will. I mean, people have been complaining about it for years, almost as long as he's been living in that house when he got back. You see, crazy man Harry and, and a handful of his buddies hopped on a bus a long time ago and took off for Vietnam. And crazy man Harry was the only one who come back alive. And ever since then, he's been stuck. Stuck in this one place that he's forced to relive over and over and over again. That one moment where he tried to save his buddies where all he could do was yell, get out! Crazy man Harry lives on the corner of Route 29 and Old Wiley School Road. You don't have to live there to know him. Just drive by. Chances are good he'll yell at you too. But if you don't mind, we would appreciate it if you turn the other cheek. And remember that people are rarely, if ever, what they seem. And often difficult people are just normal people like us who got stuck in difficult circumstances.